Hey there you lot, today I'm going to be, well, rocking my beard, you know, I think I can pull this off, but that's another story. I'm going to be reviewing a channel today on YouTube, one that I follow quite high-heartedly, high and that is Salted Food. Okay, Salted Food is actually, um, as you can imagine, a cooking, an online cooking community, as it is said, and it stars four friends who are Ben Ebrell, sorry if I get the pronunciation wrong, who is the main chef, you have Barry Taylor who is in charge of the photography, you have Mike Huttleston who again, sorry if I've pronounced this wrong, um, who is in charge of all the music and then you get Jamie Spafford, sorry I almost got that one, who's in charge of marketing. Now these are four friends from school who decided are apparently once you know, I had a read of their about on their website, who whilst they were in the middle of a, a pub one night, started thinking, wouldn't it be a great idea to start doing cooking online? And it kind of went from there. Now the beauty I, of this website and of this channel that I find is the fact that they are friends. It's not like, for instance, with Jamie Oliver or Gary Rhodes. You know, these are people who have brought people on and they're like, oh yeah, really, really friendly with them, but you can tell it's really, really fake. However, with these four, they genuinely are friends, like they do muck around and things do go wrong. Like for instance, I watched one today where they were doing a, um, like a slow, uh, I'm going to really get annoyed by this. It was a, a poached, um, poached pork, um, a poached buttered pork. And uh, I can't remember all of it. That's really irritating. I only watched it like an hour ago. But halfway through, um, Ben cuts himself. And it says, you know, for continuity errors and that sort of stuff, this is why. And they give you little tips along the way. But the beauty of it, of this website, and the cooking in it, is it is actually very simple and very easy to follow. Like, for instance, they did um, chicken katsu curry and making... Yeah, you know, breaded chicken is actually very easy, and doing rice is very easy. Katsu sauce, though, I find very difficult, and I, I'm not great on it. Sorry, uh, I'm not great on it, but I actually use the um, the wing yips curry paste, and yeah, you know, I've got it as close to the one I have at Wagamama's as that. But I actually have had a go at making my own one, and it is pretty much spot on, following their recipe. And then I've made some of their some of their um, desserts. They basically do everything from starters, mains, desserts, sides, breads, pastas, going around the world. They're doing one at the moment where they're going around Brazil. They're going to be doing a chocolate one coming up, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I've spoken to them a couple of times. I've sent them a few pictures of um, desserts I've made. Um, and they they have they replied to me a couple of times, and you know they are genuinely a good group of people. I recommend that you stop watching Gary Rhodes because he's a bit of an ass, but you go and watch sort of food instead. And if they get to hear me say this, I will say this with honor, guys. You have made my life for cooking interesting and better, and it has helped me realize that that I can actually make something nicer than whacking something on a tray and just hoping for the best. So I'm going to continue watching Sorted Food. You should continue, start watching Sorted Food. And if you have already signed up to it, continue doing it. Now you got you four guys, see you later. And I will and I will be back at some point this week with another, I mean, with another review. Don't quite know what yet, but I'll surprise you. See you later.